know the Phantom Ruby affected different dimensions, but did Eggman really have to pull enemies from a completely different game series to try and kill Sonic? Hello everybody, I'm Garrelus64 and welcome back to Sonic Mania Mods. Today, as you might have been able to tell, we have the Kirby Hard World Heavies mod. And first off, everybody's favorite, really docile sidekick, Bandana Waddle Dee, who has apparently upgraded his spear to a bazooka. Which, in my opinion, seems a lot more effective than a spear. It's also a huge step up. I don't know if maybe DDD gave him a raise. That's the only way I could see him upgrading that fast. I mean, let's be honest. The spear's cool. You know, he's got, I guess, infinite of them because he can chuck them and then they just respawn. He can also use it as a little helicopter blade. Spin around for a bit. It's fun. But, uh, I mean, Bazooka, you might not be able to... I don't know, fly with it, but he's got a helicopter now. So, I mean, he's riding in style. And he's also terrified because this strange blue creature is kicking his butt faster than Kirby usually does. I guess that's not entirely true, though, because when he is sent out to fight Kirby in, uh, I think, Revenge of Meta Knight in Superstar, I think you can kill him with just one move of whatever you have. You can inhale him and kill him in one shot. It's actually pretty funny. It's like their last ditch effort. Is, is, like, the littlest effort to dispatch. I thought you were gonna be blue. Why were you not blue? You disappointed me for the last time. Alright, well that's one taken care of. Let's move on to the next. And who do we have next? It's everybody's favorite edgy knight. It's Meta Knight! And I'm sure at some point... That cape will be perfectly thrown off his body, and you know what? This is a perfect fit, because he always throws off his cape like that before you fight him. Though he also always offers Kirby a sword, so what happened to your code of honor, sir? You're not gonna offer Sonic a sword just because he's an animal? Does not mean he's some kind of heathen, Meta Knight. You need to respect everybody. Well, I guess just like that, Meta Knight is also no match for the blue blur despite how many after images Meta Knight has himself. All right, next on our hit list. And next, we have everybody's favorite magician. Except mine, because I'm not really sure who this is supposed to be. Of course, I play a lot of Kirby games, I just have a bad memory. Uh, feel free to let me know, but the hooligans are not changed, and that's a majority of the boss fight. So I think I'm going to move on. Also, please let me know who this is, because I searched enemies in Kirby that use magic. And, you know, just magic Kirby enemies, and it was just bringing up things for Kirby in the Amazing Mirror, and I'm not sure why. It's either an enemy that gives you magic or a boss fight, and I just don't recognize it, so yeah, let's move on. And here we go, Heavy Rider is replaced with... Oh, we've got Rocky and Wheelie! Two really recognizable Kirby enemies. And probably two of my favorites, honestly. Um, Rock never really used to be my favorite ability when I was a kid, but nowadays I really like it, probably because of all the, uh, the little references they sneak in when you use the Rock ability. Kind of like in Kirby's moveset in Smash, you know how he becomes a, uh, a Thwomp and stuff like that? In the newer Kirby games, he kind of becomes stuff like statues of his friends, or... Just, I don't know, just it can really be anything these days, and... I'm really excited to see what Star Allies brings to the table with its little references, because I know Kirby games usually have a lot of fan service, and I'm sure it'll be no different with this one. Speaking of Wheelie, I'd love to see Wheelie Rider make a return in uh, Star Allies, now that you can have enemies as partners again. Wheelie Rider was a great addition to, uh, I think it was Revenge of Meta Knight as well, just like I was talking about that earlier, but anyway, next one. Oh, and look at that! Who's trying to steal the Master Emerald today? Could it be Kirby's biggest rival? Biggest in the sense of he's the most reoccurring and he's also probably the biggest literal rival Kirby has. King Dedede, and by big I mean fat, because Dedede's a big fat old bird. But what are you gonna do? You're gonna float around and laugh at us like usual? Wow, he looks really smug. Oh, he's even gonna float around. It's perfect. It's a perfect fit. I love, uh, I don't know, all of the Heavy King boss fight replacements I've played have looked really nice when it comes to just, you know, the sprites they choose for everything. That Herc sprite looks perfect, too. 
I think you can tell a lot of time and effort goes into these things because I'm sure Heavy King's probably not the most easy sprite set to work with because of like all the projectiles everywhere and all that junk. My question is, there, is there a Phantom King Heavy DDD? Or Phantom DDD or whatever you want to call it. Did I lose that ring? No, I got it back. I just didn't hear it because I only have one earbud in. Sorry, Triple D. You're nothing. Like next time you should hire a monster to clobber that there, Sonic. Alright, well I checked the Egg Reverie battle and the King does not make an appearance over the Phantom King, so I guess that'll be for next time. So that's gonna be everything for today. And if you like this video and you're not subscribed already, please make sure you do so so you can keep up with more Sonic Mania mods and other things that aren't Mania mods, because they do a lot of things. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.